Hi, my name is Shannon Penn and I'm from Singapore. I started playing golf when I was five and I turned pro in 2024. This is my first Olympics. Mum and Dad, for sure, they've done a lot for me. We moved to Australia when I was 14 and we felt like that would have given me more exposure to golf and practicing and playing in competition. So they've done a lot for me. And outside of that, they've just been for me like my number one supporters. I would say my coach, Ryan Lumsden. I've been working with him for about three years. Yeah, he would do anything to like help me and he wants the best for me and I know that. And he's a great coach. Georgia Hall. I've met Georgia before, but I bet I'll still be starstruck when I see her again. She's my idol and I really look up to her. I watched her win the AIG, so I was like, oh, I want to be her one day. I think I like her both on and off the course. Like I really admire how she's really mellow and really calm and I think that's sort of how I am. She treats a tough situation like it's not really tough at all. And I would say my sports psychologist, Dr. Jay Lee, she's based in Singapore, but we like video call and stuff. She'd been really supportive of me if I ever needed something or needed someone to talk to about golf or outside of golf. I just go to her and she'll always be there for me. I think it definitely means a lot and I would say it definitely is a great honour to represent your country at the Olympics. It's one of the biggest sporting stages out there and like it's what like every athlete dreams of. A lot of people have been really supportive and my phone was going off after it became official. So that was really good to see like and know that a lot of people back home support what you're doing out there. I'm thinking about a tattoo, I'm just really scared of pain. I got zero pain tolerance, but I just thought it'd be cool to get a tattoo and I think it would actually mean something if I get a tattoo for like the Olympic ring. I can't remember my first memory, but I probably remember the most recent memory. So this woman from back home, Joseph Schooling, so he beat Michael Phelps and basically won Singapore's first gold medal. So I think that was probably my most recent and most impactful memory, I would say. I guess swimming's gotten a lot more popular in Singapore because of him and because of that. So probably I might be inspiring the next generation. I just want golf to get more popular back home. And I feel like it's a good place to start when you got, you got an Olympian in that sport. So it'll be really good to see like the sport you love go back home and like just see more junior golfers and just golfers who want to try out golf that'll be really nice. I've watched like a lot of track and field because I used to do running as well, 800 meter. I think I was like a really active kid and I really liked running and going on runs and I just couldn't sit still, I'll just go on a run. So I keep thought about running competitively for long when I was like eight or nine, but I chose golf when I was 10. So. I guess actually having ran in a couple competitions and won a couple running competitions as a kid, it's just nice to watch people run in the Olympics. To be honest, I guess I'm most excited about just like being there in general. I mean, I'm kind of going to treat it like how I treat every other event or every other golf round where I just take it one step at a time. Honestly, I haven't really thought about the plan outside of the golf course yet. I've got my coach that will be there, so just see if there's anything else I need to work on. My expectation for myself is just to take it one shot at a time and not get too far ahead of myself. After playing so much, I found what works best for me and I think what works best for me is just staying in that moment and just focusing on that one shot I have ahead of me and not getting too far ahead. And I feel like once I get that in place, then everything should fall into place.